Lazy Bone has always, always looked out for me more than anybody in that group. He would always make sure my invoices got in. And, uh, you know, with the graveyard shift, he wanted me to become a member of the graveyard shift because Gates was out. And me and T-Rock got super, super duper tight, sleeping on the floor in the studio, making songs every day. And, and Lazy Bone, even before graveyard shift, the Poetic Hustlers, even before them, actually, it was too true. Uh, I can't remember which one I actually first played on, but when I first started playing, he kind of tried me. He tried me hard. Uh, Lazy Bone did. He he was drunk or something, and I was standing. I was sitting there with the guitar, um, you know, on my on my thigh, and I was playing something. And he, you know, he was kind of wilding out that night, right? And he walked up to me, and he straight up got on me hard. He said, oh, you that nigga pose to play guitar? And I was like, whoa, like, what is shit? What, right? <laughs> because you have to remember, so I'm in there, and there's a bunch of bone, well, not just bone thugs, but there's Mo thug, and there's all of their buddies. So think about it. Here's this new guy. I'm the new guy, right? And I had long hair and shit, and I rode a fucking Harley, and, you know, guitar rock and roll dude, right? I had tattoos and torn up jeans and shit, you know, leather jacket, shit like that. And there's all these Mo Thug dudes, and, and it wasn't so much them. It was their friends, too. So everybody's like, who is this motherfucker that's trying to come in on our shit? So this one dude stepped to me. Well, this one dude kept fucking with me, right? It was like every time I show up, this motherfucker was always in my face. And... I don't know if you guys know him, but his name is Meninsky. Meninsky's Marvin, right, from the Black Hole. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, so this dude, I mean, he's from the Black Hole, right? So this dude, I mean, he was on me for like a month. And I'm like, what the fuck's wrong? So finally, me and Meninsky actually became tighter than anybody. I actually, uh, when I did a, a record in, I don't remember what year it was, 97, 98, 90, I don't know. I had Meninsky, act, I flew him to Australia to put him on two songs on two of my records that I did. One of them was an Eric Clapton cover, um, and the other one, uh, I wrote the other one. Um, but, yeah, he slowed on it, and me and him got to be super tight. But at first, man, I thought I was going to have to shoot the dude because, you know, there's a, a thing going around that everybody's talking about, oh, Romeo carries a gun in his guitar case. Oh, that was the truth because, shit, I didn't know who I was with. I mean, these dudes were a little... I mean, you know, if you're coming from a different country and all these brothers run up on you, I'm from Queens for sure. But, you know, it's like, all right, what, what niggas, what they going to act like? So what do you do? Carry a gun in your gun. That's what I always did. Uh, and a few times, I felt like, you know, I might have to pull it out, but I never did. Um, but with Meninsky, because he was a big, thick, mean-ass nigga back then, because I didn't know him, you know. But, I mean, even knowing him, yeah, he was, he was the nigga to knock you out first. And then maybe talk to you afterwards. So I was like, oh, man, I'm going to have to shoot this dude. But, of course, I never did. Me and him became really, really tight. That's my boy. And um, so anyway, getting back to Lazy Bump, so I had a guitar around me, and I was playing something. I, I don't even remember. It was one of Unique Tracks or Archie's or Bobby Jones. I don't remember who it was, to be honest with you. But it was for either Bone or Mota. You know, I can't remember back then they all were sorted together because I would turn in invoices and they would pay them. So when I came to the studio, and I could play like five songs a night, and I got paid really good. And, you know, and I just turn in the invoice. And so they start seeing me making a lot of money, right, off of them. So Lazy Bone rolled up on me, and he said, this the nigga, da 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 you just play this. Nigga, play something. Most people... Because he had about 10 dudes around him, right? Uh, you know, Ken Dog. I mean, yeah, you know, the cats, which I didn't know yet. But most dudes would probably freak out and not play anything and probably, you know, fuck up. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I'm a real player. I, I just, oh, you, this nigga wants to see me play. So I thought to myself, uh, he's black. Let me play some funk for this nigga. Boom. I started playing some funky-ass shit for him. Just, you know, just fucking my guitar up you know, swapping hands because I could play left hand and right hand. So I was swapping hands. I was doing all kind of little tricks and shit. And he just started, you know, with this smile on his face. And he said, oh, this nigga for real. Hey, Cray, this nigga for real. You know, that kind of shit. Of course, Cray already knew because Cray 
has a lot of music in his head. And when Cray saw me play for the first time, he probably knew what I knew. He probably knew he was like, oh, yeah. But Lazy being sort of, and, and you could tell at the time that Lazy was the leader of the pack, without a doubt. It wasn't Crazy Bone. Yep, when we had to do hooks and all that. Yeah, Crazy Bone. Hey, call Cray, you know, that kind of shit. But the leader of the pack for Mo Thug and for Bone at the time, to say, was Crazy Bone. I, I'm sorry, Lazy Bone. Because if anybody did anything wrong or out of place, you had to see Lazy Bone and his dudes. And you didn't really want to see Lazy back then. Yes, the biggest heart in the world. But if you fuck up, you deserve an ass whipping, you would get one. If you were right or cool and, you know, then he would give you a hug. So after I fucked up the guitar for him, he, was, he gave me a big hug. And he's like, nigga, you with us from now on. Beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate. 